What's going on everyone? Today I have some NHL 24 Hut Moments gameplay for you. The last moment I showed off was the very first moment of the game. And today we're going to do things a little bit different in player lock as Mario Lemieux and the ultimate power up icon moment, Mario Dazzles against Minnesota. So I'm going to be player locked as Mario Lemieux as I try and score a goal, get an assist and make five deeks. Here is the lineup I get to play with in this hut moment. While I am player locked as Mario Lemieux, I have Yarmir Yager, Joe Mullen, Paul Coffey, Larry Murphy, and Ken Reggett on the squad. Now, you can see these cards, right? Heads up, overalls absolutely are not final. This was recorded in Vancouver, so any overalls or anything like that you may see are not final. In fact, I'm pretty sure we know Mario Lemieux is an 88 already from the Hut Deep Dive, but just as a heads up, None of these cards are final. In fact, I don't even know if this card exists, if I'm being honest with you. That is not his power-up icon card, so this card could have been made specifically for the moments. And on top of that, like I said, this was recorded in Vancouver. This was my first time ever really playing the game. I'm trying out new controls, doing different things. You might just see me do some weird stuff on the ice. And while I was recording all of these videos, I was actually having a conversation with the brand new lead gameplay designer of NHL 24. Just as a heads up, just so that way you guys know, hey, I'm doing one-handed tucks instead of shooting the puck or something. It doesn't make any sense. Now you know why. Here's our loading screen. Mario looking great here. Paul Coffey, Brian Trotche, awesome, right? Mike Madonna on the North Stars, however... They're listed as the Dallas Stars. But honestly, I just like the new loading screen. I like that it's not super bright in my face at all times. And here's your objective screen. You can actually see the synopsis for this one. Mario Lemieux scores one of his most famous goals in Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals to help lead the Penguins to victory. Now coming up should be your cutscene intro, so I'm going to leave the screen. Enjoy. May 17th, 1991, Mario Lemieux created a mesmerizing on-ice spectacle. Accepting a breakout pass from his own zone, he turned on the Jets, charged through center, split the D, sending one tumbling to the ice, then outmaneuvered the goalie before putting it home. The Pittsburgh crowd erupted into a standing ovation, saluting their superstar. This is your moment as Super Mario execute five highlight reel dekes and bring the fans out of their seats. And here we go, it's time for a hut moment player locked as Mario Lemieux. Opening face off time, we get set with Mario and unfortunately lose the opening draw of our hut moment. Yager knocks the puck off Madonna's stick and here we come. We go to the forehand and walk out in front, but Hayward makes a great save to keep us off the board. I still need to make all five geeks. I need to score and I need an assist. Gavin brings it into the zone and you can see me trying to catch up here. I'm not used to playing player locked and I'm not used to being one player. We head into the corner here and get absolutely crushed. Take a look at this. Here's another look at it. The glass shatters after the hit. A nice addition to the game. Now there was some concern that this was happening way too frequently during the playtest. Don't worry. EA's already addressed that and fixed it. However, it's still a lot of fun to watch when it happens. Watching that glass absolutely spiderweb out. I love it. So I have the puck with Mario here and I make my first steak by bouncing it off the boards and then I get trucked and lose the puck. Now I have the puck again here, a little toe drag, so I get another one of those deeks done and I get a shot on goal so you can see the objectives updating in real time. I have the puck here, I have full pressure and yeah, as you can see, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Going for a Michigan here and I'm not able to hit that one. Yager picks it up, I get it back, throw it on goal, but another save there by Hayward. Here we come again with Mario, with the Michigan, and it's not even close. Even at 89 overall, I couldn't hit it with Mario. A steal here, and here we go up the ice. And what are we going to do? We're going to go forehand, backhand, and no. A save by the goalie. It's honestly kind of hard to score forehand, backhand. I, I don't know what they changed, and, and that might just change throughout the year. And it might become easier, but, but when I was playing in Vancouver, forehand, backhand just didn't go in nearly as often. Now we need to score a goal for an objective, and here we go with the Michigan, and we miss. However, the puck is sitting there, and Mullen picks it up and throws it home. We have our assist. Our first objective is done. There's 6.8 seconds left here in the first period. We have our first objective done. Get assist with Mario Lemieux, lit up in yellow. Love to see it. We need to perform three more digs and score a goal. So let's see if we can make that happen here in the second period. All right, face-off time, and guess what happens? We, we lose that face-off, too. I'm not good on face-offs, apparently. 
Mario brings that puck up. Nice little deke there. We get another one of our dekes done. We need two more. All right, here we go up the ice again. We have our X Factor active. We're looking to make some dekes, but I can't get around the defenseman. And I, I'm not going to lie. This is only on pro, I believe, but... The defense just seems to clog up more of the ice as I'm skating up the ice. It's not like in 23 where I can just skate past them on pro difficulty. Now, something happens here I want to show you. Um, it's kind of interesting. I don't know how frequent it happened in 23, but the poke check there from Murphy, the AI just poking the puck off Madonna's stick. I need to see more of that. All right, this is fun. So here comes Gavin with the puck. He turns around and gets absolutely trucked by Mario. Coffee goes the other way, gets it up. We get these deeks done. Let's go behind the net here. And we're going to snipe one on the goalie, finishing up these objectives. Here's your flex moment. We create some space with the Deeks here, walk behind the net, create some confusion with where we're going to go by going back and forth, walk out in front, and the goalie has players all out in front of him. We snipe one home with Mario, and just like that, we are completely done our objectives for this hut moment. From here, we can exit out, claim our rewards, and just go ahead and move on to the next moment, or do something else here in Hockey Ultimate Team. Got all three stars here, which means I'm going to get all my rewards. We finish the game and we move out of this hut moment. One of the best additions to the game this year is that you can just, you know, not continue playing the game. Once you're done your objectives, you can just leave. I love it. And guys, there you go. One of the Mario Lemieux ultimate hut moments this year in NHL 24. Keep an eye out for some more hut moments gameplay coming here on the channel and even more NHL 24 videos before release on October 3rd. Daily videos, different series, pack openings, whatever you want to see here in hut, you have it here on the channel. Regardless, I'm out of here, but thank you for watching. Have a great night and I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.